these snouts or trunks are much longer than the warthogs, James, that's right. Look at this wonderful herd of elephant we got at the Juma waterhole. This is great. Always, always fantastic to see elephant, especially at water. I just love watching them, and the way they interact and how they use those trunks to drink. I watch a lot of them are sucking water up with their trunks and then blowing it back out. Often what they're wanting to do is just get some clean water, so they'll try and splash away some of the dirt or sand from the top of the water and then they'll suck up the clean water and drink that. Oh, look at that young one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you look there, just over there, that adult just sprayed water on top of that youngster. <laughs> He's not very happy. That is a very interesting. I wonder why it did that, but it, it's uh, it's I suppose a younger elephant that sprayed the sprayed the water, not quite an adult. And there's that baby now. Look at that. Probably just getting the hang of using its trunk. You know, it takes them just over two years to fully learn how to use that trunk properly. And that youngster is probably a year and a half to two years old, maybe. Oh, that's wonderful. So peaceful here. Yeah. And these elephants just seem to be enjoying standing in the sun, warming up. They've got water right here. Just resting a little bit before they decide to move on and and feed for the day. They most likely may go past some water again later this afternoon. Elephants do need to drink a lot of water, so so they will occasionally go past water two or three times a day, especially when it is a lot drier. <laughs> Looks almost like that one is trying to scratch the top of its mouth. Do you see that possibly a few tusks that are coming through there and you know you usually get these little tusks from about three, four years you start seeing these tusks pushing through. I think maybe it's getting a bit itchy for that little one and scratching the top of its mouth. That's where the tusks will come through. But you can see it's still learning, it's still exploring and working out how this trunk works. see smelling picking trying to work out how it can use its trunk it's amazing I could watch these for hours Justin has asked us a question about how much a baby elephant weighs at birth now Justin if I remember correctly I think it's uh, um, between 40 and 80 kilograms at birth. Let me just double check here for you quickly. Um, which is which is very heavy for a for a young elephant. I'm almost certain. Um, no, it can it can actually be even more than that. So 80 to 120 kilograms at birth, which is what is that 200 and 40, 250 pounds at birth. Hope my equation is correct. I think that's about right. But yeah, about 120 kilograms, 100 to 120 kilograms at birth. That's a very large calf. The 
little bit of maintenance going on in the background at Juma. I'm just fixing a roof or two. You can hear a few hammers being knocked. So Sat has asked, why do all these adults have their backs to the water? I don't know, Sally. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a good question. Why are they all standing like that? I don't think there's a specific reason. Perhaps, perhaps they are just because they have chosen to hang around this water hole and allow the younger elephant to drink and explore. Maybe the adults are just keeping a lookout uh, for, for, for danger. You know, they, elephant, even though they are so large, they are still aware of predators and they don't really, especially in this area, probably don't have a direct threat, but they are still careful. So it could possibly be because they, they're just having a look around, making sure there are no, no predators and letting the youngsters enjoy the water and enjoy exploring the water hole. But I don't, I don't know if there's a, a specific reason. That would be my, my guess and my theory.